Today is International Holocaust Remembrance Day, marking 78 years since Allied troops liberated the Auschwitz death camp. More than 6 million Jewish people and millions of others were killed by the Nazi regime between 1933 and 1945. Survivor Rachel Miller sits down with our Holden Kerwicki. My father was cutting my hair. It was a Sunday. And I was sitting under the buffet, and he said to my mother, it's the beginning of doom. I remember, as a child, who doesn't like a parade? So I ran downstairs. When I saw them, I started to cry. They look like robots. Their precision, their faceless expressions. A neighbor of ours came knocking at the door, and he said, Mr. Goldman, please come with me. They're picking up the Jews and taking them to a camp. And my father did exactly that, went, put clothes in a suitcase, and the Nazis picked him up right there. So on that day, my father was taken away. I don't know what kind of poison he put in, the, in their bodies. I have no idea. But I do know they were experimented upon. We were subhuman. We had no right to exist. We were vermin. And my mother said to me, Rachel, I'm going to give you a new name. Your name is Christine, and you are not allowed to tell anyone that you're Jewish. On July the 16th, they picked up my mother, my two brothers, and my sister. I was so angry at my mother. Why didn't she keep me with her? Why did she send me away? She didn't love me. My mother loved me very much. She saved my life. She was on a convent to Auschwitz, and that was the last time I heard from my family. How many of your family members were killed by the Nazis? I figure about 93 people were murdered. I made a promise to myself that I would speak as long as I could, and I would do whatever I could to anyone that tried to tell me that this does not exist, that the Holocaust never happened. Holden Kerwicki reporting, if you would like to honor the lives lost, there is a full list of activities happening this weekend on our website, ksdk.com. Look for this story under the As Seen on TV tab.